Hi friends, so on today's video, I'm actually sharing with you my moist and fluffy easy vanilla cake recipe. So I actually got very tired of having to simple syrup my cake and then having to worry that my cake would be dry. So I've been experimenting with vanilla cake recipes and I found the perfect one and here's a sneak peek at how it looks and I'm sharing it with you. To begin our recipe, I'm taking 3 quarter cups of unsalted room temperature butter and I did go ahead and cut it into little smaller squares but you don't have to. I'm also taking 2 and a half cups of granulated sugar and 4 room temperature large eggs. For this portion, please remember that you can also use a hand mixer. You don't need a stand mixer. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and cream all of these ingredients together for approximately 5 minutes. Um, and please keep in mind that you will have little lumps of butter and that is totally okay. While my first ingredients are creaming together, I have here 3 cups of all-purpose flour in the big bowl. And in the small bowl, I have two and three quarter teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and whisk all my dry ingredients together just to spread them evenly. I went ahead and set my dry ingredients aside and here I have one and a half cups of whole milk and one tablespoon of vanilla and I'm going to go ahead and combine them and whisk them together. Now that all of our ingredients are ready, I'm taking one cup of the dry ingredient mixture and putting it into our egg and sugar mixture and I'm taking half of the quantity of our milk and I'm going to mix these ingredients until they incorporate but don't overbeat them. I'm also adding half of the quantity of my vegetable oil and that quantity will be listed in the description below. So here I just want to add half until it's well incorporated. And we're going to stop in between steps and scrape the sides of our bowl just to make sure that we get any ingredients that are stuck on the side. We are going to continue to add the remainder of the milk and one more cup of the dry ingredient mixture plus the remainder of our vegetable oil and at the end you should only have the dry ingredient mixture left which is the flour so we're going to go ahead and add that and remember that in between adding your ingredients just mix until your ingredients are well combined This is going to be our last step, so once you add the final portion of the dry ingredients, go ahead and mix this mixture until the ingredients are well incorporated and make sure to scrape the sides of the bowl. And this is what the batter should look like once you are done. Remember, the batter will be a little bit more runny than if it was just a butter cake because we have half oil and half butter in this recipe. And here I'm actually using two 3 inch high and 8 inch round cakes. I did go ahead and spray them with nonstick baking spray and I also added a little bit of flour around the corners just to make sure that my cake doesn't stick. And I'm just going to eyeball it and spread my vanilla cake batter evenly onto my layers. For this specific recipe, I baked it at 350 degrees for about 50 minutes. And what you actually see on the sides of the pans is from my previous video, so make sure you go and watch that. Here is the final result of my easy, fluffy, and moist vanilla cake. I did bake this cake with the wet strips covered in aluminum on the sides to make sure that my cake baked evenly and to prevent the edges from browning and getting dry, so that adds to the moisture of the cake. 
Also, another thing to remember is that this recipe is half butter and half oil. So the oil actually helps to give that fluffiness to the cake and the butter helps it to give a little bit of structure. So that's why I love this recipe. Um, if you do want the recipe or the instructional video on how to do the bake right strips, I will link that down below. And if you'd make this recipe, definitely let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you've tried another um, vanilla recipe similar to this or let me know if you have a different favorite recipe I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you out when you're trying to figure out what to make for your next birthday party here's another angle of how my cakes looked thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time bye